Main DevOps Foundation. From your perspective, the target audience for the class, and also what's the benefit for an individual going through the class, and most importantly for an enterprise organization, what benefit would they see by having their staff go through the DevOps Foundation course? So DevOps Foundation is really for everyone. There are so many practices that are involved in DevOps from people, process, automation. Um, some see it as only tooling. Some see it as only an engagement of agile or IT service management. And DevOps Foundation brings that all together. It, it not only addresses the what is DevOps, but it also starts to look at what are the, the components that make up a DevOps initiative. So we do talk about the integration with Agile and IT service management in Lean. We do talk about, say, practices like value stream mapping. Certainly look at continuous delivery, continuous integration, automation, pipelines, all of the elements that bring DevOps to life. But I think the greatest value that DevOps Foundation brings to an individual and an organization is shared knowledge. So we want uh, individuals on a team or in an enterprise to have a common vocabulary. We want them to say the same thing and mean the same thing. And historically, that's not the case. Right? Operations folks don't necessarily speak agile. Uh, developers don't necessarily speak continuous delivery. So we want them to have that type of common knowledge, but we also want them to have a shared learning experience so that they understand what the emerging practices are, that it gives them some ideas for how they can bring those practices forward, and then it also gives them, hopefully, inspiration to learn more. Hmm. Right? We are the continuous learning community. We want to be able to bring that broad-based knowledge. One of the questions that I'm often asked, Mark, is why is there a certification uh, around DevOps Foundation? And so, you know, like we see in young children, in uh, elementary school, through high school and beyond, uh, there is a pride in accomplishment. And so being able to bring that common vocabulary, that shared experience forward, there is also that pride in being able to reflect the fact that you absorb that, that information as well. And I've seen organizations where they proudly disp display their digital badge or their certificate because they were able to absorb and institutionalize that, that knowledge. So from the individual, they get their first exposure, perhaps, to some of these emerging practices that go beyond, say, automation or go beyond uh, the definition of culture um, and really bring a 360 degree view to that uh, individual, it hopefully gives them the inspiration to want to grow their skills further. And for the organization, you take everyone associated with the value stream and you give them the same shared experience, whether it's virtually or in the classroom, whether it's in uh, APAC or Europe or North America. So it is creating that common set of standard definitions, standard approaches, and the ever-changing emerging practices, some of which may not be captured in a book or a blog or in a, a, a conference. So um, we spend a lot of time researching what those practices are and bring them together in the form of DevOps Foundation. Neat. What, one other quick question there, Jane, which I think from a foundation perspective, being a two-day course, what's your take in terms of the value you see of having DevOps Foundation as a platform for engagement with the technical engineers and the business stakeholders? So, um, you know, I mentioned shared experiences. And so putting people together in a shared learning environment often gives them an opportunity to talk to each other as much as they get to learn from the instructor. So we want them to share uh, their pain. We want them to ask each other questions. We want them to engage with each other in the true spirit of DevOps cultural transformation and sometimes taking that time of two days, right? It's not a large investment of time, but putting people in the same place, again, whether it's a virtual classroom, a live uh, a live classroom, putting them in the same place, letting them go through the journey together, gives them an opportunity to learn more about each other, more about challenges, more about process, and certainly starts that cultural transformation uh, through a very simple, very benign, very comfortable environment like a classroom. Thank you.